What is going on? I am Johnny Von Duke and you are watching Disney Channel. Why the fuck do I keep doing this intro? You know, I was gonna originally do the whole thing about RT games, but I've come to two realizations right now. A, that has been covered in mass, so I can hold off a little bit and better formulate my thoughts that isn't just gonna be a cuss-filled rant. And also, I'd much rather use that cuss-filled rant for motherfucking this. Oh no, I expanded the wrong thing again. Such a tragedy. Ugh. But yeah, we're going into the micro Von Duke mode and here, here we go. Hold on, let me, let me move my beautiful face to the bottom screen. We're in the bottom of the screen today. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a little late to the party on this. This has been news for a few weeks. It got confirmed a few days, and the rage is starting within everybody over the course of this week, including me. Now listen, I am going to be a little honest, upfront, and brutal with everybody. I haven't made homebrew content in like half a fucking year now. And when I did make homebrew content, guess what? I restricted it purely to Facebook groups because I didn't want Wizard of the Coast to have any way to republish that. All my work is literally JPEGs across the internet, Wizards of the Coast, good luck doing anything with any of my shit. Good luck. You're never going to be able to do jack shit with that stuff. And I'm happy about that. Mostly because it was bad homebrew work to begin with and I never wanted to admit it. Kevin, you were right. <laughs> But no, seriously, seriously, uh, as far as homebrew goes, it's always bad, and it's always good. Depends how you use your work. That's really what it comes down to. You can have the best written thing on the face of the earth, but if you run it wrong, you are just, uh, yeah, it doesn't matter how well written the thing is. But moving on from my homebrew work and how bad and good it is, I am going to ignore a large part of this because this is stuff that has been repeated and being recovered ay 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 my god <laughs> you see I have nothing against them wanting to do more products with the game that's up to them that's fine that's business that's just capitalism that's the system we live in okay Listen, I don't have a problem with them making more products and trying to further monetize from their own personal end. It's when they try to monetize off everyone else, I start to have a really big motherfucking goddamn sons of bitchin' problem. And listen, I usually love Wizards of the Coast. When my dude let my dude introduced me to D&D like a, well, what was that been, a year and a half now? A year and a half ago? I loved it. I restarted the channel because of it. Because I wanted to be a D&D tuber and I gave up on that instantly and I'd much rather just be Johnny Von Duke as is and do whatever the heck I want. But enough about that. You see, but that's why I like D&D. The fact it was open source, you know you can do what you want. I know I'm rambling and I'm jumping from point A to B. I'm sorry. But yeah, I liked D&D because it was open source and I could do what I want. Literally. The fact that I could just write a document, find images, photoshop them, slap it onto a fucking flattened JPEG file, and then just post it abroad, and it counts as content for the game, is wonderful. It's one of the best parts about D&D, the fact that literally anybody can do anything the fuck they want with it. And what they can and can't do with it is nobody's goddamn business. You could have a sex doll of a kobold stuffed with raw turkey as a homebrew item for all I care. You can do it because D&D is open source. <laughs> and that's what's awesome about it. No one can tell you you can't. You just do. And can and will. For example, I have literally homebrewed a bag of shit into game. <laughs> a literal sack of shit, if you will. In fact, that's what I called it. <laughs> The cursed bag of holding. <laughs> the sack of shit. Ah, glorious. Glorious. Uh, that's one of my favorites. But, yeah, so we do crazy stuff with the game. 
and no offense, Hasbro, Wait, is it Hasbro? I forget. Wizard of the Coast was bought out, and I'm pretty sure it was Hasbro. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it is Hasbro. Yeah, you see that right there? I'm horrible at remembering shit. It's a good thing the article was written for me. But you see, you scroll down here, and you see this. The new agreement introduces a new 20 to 25% royalty to be paid. Now listen, this is uh, for people making the big bucks, so to speak. You know, we're talking about our critical roles of the world here. We're talking about the critical roles of the world. I don't know why I did that. I just felt like it. I'm trying to loosen my own mood. I'm sorry. I'm cringy. I'm just a cringy Von fuck. But it's like, I don't know what to say here, man. Royalties. Here, in fact, I don't even think you can see that part. Let me move myself. There you go. Now that I've moved my wonderful camera. There you go. <laughs> 20 to 25%. And that is brutal. We're going back up to the top corner now. I just... I have no words for that. Listen, I know this means they plan on drawing back a little bit on the whole open source stuff for D&D. But, listen... And listen, listen. I don't know if this is Wizard of the Coast. I don't know if this is Hasbro. I, for one, don't care. I don't care who, which one it is. <sighs> you know what? Here. Uh, uh. Yeah. There you go. I'm going to do the cringe typing for y'all. Instead of DND, you're getting DND because I don't feel like typing it in. 1974 1974 How fucking dare you How fucking dare you Listen, I knew it was the 70s I didn't know when in the 70s I just wanted to confirm before I ran my mouth the wrong way again How fucking dare you Take something that has been open source Since the fucking 70s Before some of these company runners before some of these new additioners were even fucking born you know how dare you take a product that is some people's lifetimes because mother because motherfuckers and mothers a lot people have died since then that's some people's lifetimes 70s till now 2023 whoop whoop you know we're talking a lifetime long game here for some people. Literally. How fucking dare you remove any aspect of that being open source? How dare you? How fucking dare you? Listen, I know they're not going to be ripping off people's homebrewed work from fucking 1E all the way back to 3.5, 4E. You know what I'm saying? I get they're not going to be reaching back and going for that stuff specifically. But we haven't gotten to that part of the article yet. I know it's in there, but I've watched other videos on it. Believe me, I unfortunately know what this article gets into. I just need a nice showcase so I can speak over for y'all. And that's the truth. But you know... The fact that with what they're doing now gives them the ability to do that if they wanted to. I know they won't. There's not much of a point to because it's not profitable. It's not 5e. It's not going to be 1D and D. You know, it's not the current modules coming out and being out that has already been out in 5e's case. 1D and D isn't fully out yet. We only have test runners. But anyway. The fact of what they're doing now gives them the ability to do that. Take literal dead men's fucking work and being able to monetize off that. How fucking dare you? Because here's the reality. Wizards of the Coast owns all the D&D trademarks and so does Hasbro. You know, with this new guidelines, they're literally saying, hey... We can reach out and we can take the living people's shit. We're going to take the dead people's shit too, if we want to. Odds are they won't. But the fact of the precedent they're setting with this, basically telling us, hey, we're, we can reach back and steal dead people's work and monetize it. How fucking dare you? 
Like, listen, this is a game from 74, and we're in 2023 now, and I know I've said this a lot, and it's a very small amount of people, but that's a lifetime for some individuals. <laughs> you know, here's the reality, it's a dice roll. Yeah, you can live till 75. Yeah, you can live till 65. Yeah, you can live till 95. Yeah, you can live till 110 for while I fucking care. We have the medicine, we have the tech, we can do it. We have done it. Or is the oldest living woman like 106? I can't remember if it's 106 or 110. It's somewhere in between there. It might be higher than that if she's still alive. But I don't care about that right now because we're talking about the shorter lifespans, you know? Reality is, some fuckers die in their 20s. Some fuckers die in their 30s. You know, we are talking some people's lifespans here. And that highly fucking disturbs me that they're saying, hey, we can reach back and take that shit and we will monetize it if we so see fit. And you want to know why they're saying that? And hold on, we're, we're not talking about this. That's a fucking lie. It is going away. Right here, see? Right here. Under OGL 1.1. And here's the thing. All the other OGLs that came before this are obviously obsolete. Right? There's nothing holding them in place anymore because we're talking about works from the literal fucking 70s. And we're... Oh my god. And I highly doubt... You know, I highly doubt people from the 70s and 80s were putting copyright stamps on their fucking shit. Okay? I highly doubt it. And here's the cold reality. Form pages, man. I know they were small and I know they were little and I know they were probably only contained 10 people. But forms are an internet favorite. It's an internet standby. It's an internet pinpoint. Forms have been around since the dawn of the internet, my man. If that shit has been documented or archived in any way, and it doesn't have a nice little copyright stamp or marking of some kind protecting it, Wizard of the Coast and Hasbro are saying, hey, we'll take it. And we don't care. And we will monetize off it. They can just republish your work at their discretion. And obviously, if this current OGL, these new policies going through, whatever that, whatever fucking wording, label, three letter number, what? Bleh. I swear to God, I, I just can't with the shit. <laughs> you know, if they're saying 1.1 could be, you know, redone at discretion, how blah, blah, blah. <laughs> oh my God. Why? Why? This is just so fucking toxic. <sighs> Why? Why do you need to do this? Hold on. I know, I know, I know. I'm going to be doing the cringe typing. But I got to know for sure. I just got to know for sure. Oh my god. I typed it in. I forgot the is. I am a fucking idiot. There we go. How much is D&D worth? It's not even gonna tell us. Here, give me a news article or something. How much is it worth? You're kidding me. They don't have it actually documented how much it's worth. Images? Anything? Nope. It's giving me in-game stats. Hold on. <laughs> How much is the D and D? Here we go. Fucking hell. You're literally fucking kidding me, man. How much more specific do you want me to be? Okay. You know what? Apparently the good old internet machine just wants to be an idiot today too, just like Wizards of the Coast and just like fucking Hasbro. You know, that's all appropriate. It's appropriate for how today's episode of shitposting is going. This isn't shitposting, this is just fucking depressing and this was just a fucking cuss-filled rant because I am legitimately angry at the precedent they are setting with this. And I hope to God the fan base and someone at Wizards of the Coast or Hasbro screws in the connector pieces missing between their brain and their spinal cord. Because you have a lot of fucking missing information that is not properly processing, my friend. 
You need to reconnect with reality, because at this point I'm convinced you're just a floating brain in a jar. Because you're so fucking desensitized to this shit, it ain't even funny. I'm, I'm literally convinced human beings aren't running this shit. Or you know what? I should be convinced human beings are running this shit, because human beings would do this shit. Hell, the United States has started up Space Force and are trying to regulate space. My fucking god, the human race is literally trying to regulate space. You know what? Before we get into a rant on Space Force, I have been Johnny Von Duke. I hate Wizards of the Coast now. I hate Hasbro now. And I would say... It's actually funny, because I came across a meme yesterday about Fortnite, you know? And it was jokingly called the Hasbro Battle Pass, and it just had a bunch of Hasbro properties plastered over the Battle Pass and shit like that. Looked dope. I, w I wish it would have been real, because it looked dope. It literally did. But I don't think I want that anymore. I don't think I want the meme to come true. I just think I want Hasbro to suffer a little burnout, you know? I, I hope that stock dip they're suffering through gets a little bit worse. Because they need a little reality check, you know? You know? You know? You know? Anyway, I've been Johnny Von Duke, and before I spiral in another circular rant of nothingness, take it away, other me, and please fucking drive a pillar through my fucking eardrums till I die. Thank you. Yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the video. It's pretty much a nothing burger, but if you've been watching my channel for all eight years that's existed, you should know that's uh, kind of what we do here. Anyway, if you somehow found yourself enjoying it, click over here to watch another video, click over here to watch another degenerate video, click here to subscribe to my channel, then click down there for, well, whatever lazy lack of originality content I put there. Anyway, get the fuck out of here, you filthy animal. Goodbye.